Ateplicin is the end result of a 20-year research project initiated by Steve Wilton and our group. The drug itself was designed and initially validated by Abby Adams, who's a research officer in the Centre for Comparative Genomics. The work started when I was at UWA almost 20 years ago, uh, working at the West Australian Neuroscience Research Institute. Came up with this crazy idea on trying to change gene expression to, to treat muscular dystrophy. It's not a cure, it's rescuing some expression that will reduce the severity of the disease. We believe that ateplicin has the potential to slow the progression of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It's a pro progressive disease, the boys become progressively weaker, and anything that slows the progression of the disease is a positive. Keep them on their feet longer. The longer boys walk, the less severe the other symptoms of this tend to be. So loss of the ability to walk is a significant milestone in the um, progression of the disease. Keeping them out of a wheelchair is crucial. That's a, it's a really devastating milestone. And if you can keep them walking, keep them upright, you reduce the scoliosis, you improve the breathing, the health and well-being of these kids is, is greatly improved. And that's what we've seen so far. I'm very lucky some of the mothers send us videos of their kids and we see the progression of these kids. Instead of ending up in a wheelchair, they're running around throwing footballs, playing soccer, hopping into cars doing things that Duchenne boys don't do. Well, there's a lot of scepticism about this disease. And, and recently we've been now getting all these accolades about uh, Innovator of the Year and Eureka Awards. That means nothing to us compared to getting this drug approved by the FDA. It's not often that researchers can actually take an idea from a concept all the way through and then see kids that are benefiting from it. Starting with this, we can now start considering other treatments that were considered untreatable. This is just gonna be the thin end of the wedge because we're now looking at a variety of other conditions from cystic fibrosis to spinal muscular atrophy to Pompey's disease. There's many different conditions we can treat.